Hey everybody, welcome back to Final Fantasy for the level 80 White Mage quest. Uh, not you. You're not the one who gives me a quest. Excuse me, Koopa. Not you either. There we go. Oh boy, here we go. This is a long time coming. Whence the healing springs. She's in a nostalgic mood. Alright. So, Rhea. Try for how fair your studies of the white. I sense your magics have grown even stronger since last we met. Possibly ten levels worth. Speaking of old acquaintances, do you recall Aquila? No. The old raw girl, reasonable for the taint of the, and the corruption. Responsible for the taint and corruption? No. As a form of, <laughs> as a form of appointment, uh, she has begun training in the art of conjury. Mayhaps you could stop by the steel gauge and uh, steel gauge fane and look in on it for me. I'm sure she's glad for your visit. Uh, was it an all right girl? She's talking about the girl who we saved during Stormblood, right? Like the sick girl? You might also come across uh, Gatty whilst you're in town. Gatty whilst you're in town. Considering her unorthodox uh, brandering, my fellow Pajali have been given leave to roam somewhat more freely uh, than you might otherwise be allowed. Uh, do give my regards if you see her. Alright. Let's head to Gridania. Let's go Gridania. Gridania, here we go. Oh boy, White Mage, level 80. This took a long time for me to uh, actually come around and do because I was just busy. <laughs> That's basically what it comes down to. Uh, I've been super busy and stressed out, but... I don't want to go on that. I'll smoke. But we're good. Everything is good. Uh, the summer is... Uh, all the summer holidays uh, for schools are almost over, uh, so that helps as well. Um, what the fuck? Is... What the? The fuck? What the fuck is this? Oh, it's yours. <laughs> okay, okay, never mind. I was fucking so confused. Like what the f where the fuck is, is it was just chilling. It didn't have no name or anything. Um. Anyway, we're talking about White Mage. Let's talk about White Mage. Uh, White Mage has changed. Uh, not much actually. In fact, they, you might remember me from the previous uh, expansion being a scholar guy. Um. And I really enjoyed White Mage. I really enjoyed White Mage and Scholar. Both really really fun to do. Oh, sorry about that. Like walking through a light. Um, but this expansion, Scholar was kind of, kind of shredded. It was kind of shredded apart, and White Mage pretty much remained the same whilst getting uh, a couple of extra uh, goodies, which all made the things all the much better. Hey, Aquala, I don't really remember you, if I'm honest. It must be her. Rayo Senna sent you to see me. Yeah. Uh, as I thought as much... I did not imagine you would speak to me out of your own accord, considering it's how, how I once wished you dead. Who the fuck is this girl? <laughs> I have no idea who the fuck she is. But I promise I've changed, and I'm doing, I'm doing as they ask of me. At least, I'm trying to. So, someone actually helped me out um, in the dancer quest. Telling me exactly who the person I was confused uh, was. Um, this time, I'm not even going to give you as much. I don't know who the fuck she is at all. I have no memory of this woman. Uh, if someone wants to drop me a bit of lore in the comments below, that would help me out hugely. Because I don't know who the fuck she is. Uh, at least beforehand, I recognized her, you know? Jeez. My attempts at curing spells were uh, abysmal. I performed excess as a seed seer has taught me, but would seem I am unsuited for the healing arts. Being an outsider is, is difficult to, for me to make friends here. Uh, though there are two young ladies who do seem e eager to include me in their chatter. Here they come now. Aquila, do you know do you know Strife? See, now her I recognize. 
Uh, were you two talking about your adventures? I wanted to hear about the adventures. Oh, me too, me too. Can we stay and listen? Uh, I suppose, if Strife doesn't, doesn't mind. Great, what kind of tale you tell? Uh, what kind of tale do we want to tell? The tale of a man who crossed time and space to save the world, and me. Uh, the tale of a woman who flew in the face of everything to save her beloved family. Let's tell this one. It's the tale of the uh, healer roll quest. What a wonderful sister she, mu she must be. And what a lovely story. Uh, I, w I want to be able to do that. To protect people. I'm probably going to need a lot more training. <laughs> she nods. Yeah, you suck. Then why don't we go and train right now? Together. We can work on becoming just like the person Chef told us about. Yes, that's a wonderful idea. Aquilia, and you and Strife both have to come with us. It's so much more fun with the four of us. If you insist. I say I say we head out to the hedge tree and practice listening to the whispers of the forest. Come on everyone, follow me. Alright. I thought that was about to be it as well, you know. It's like we tell her the story it's like, oh good, what a lovely story. Anyway, bye. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, yeah, white mage. White mage had stone and arrow, right? Arrow free, gone now. So only got the one dot, like every other healer now. Um, I think healer DPS might have become a bit too generic in its entirety. Um, but you know, wait, I've gone the wrong way. This way, isn't it? Because that's the yellow serpent gate. I think we can just pour out there. Uh, but now it's also lost stone and arrow completely in place of uh, deer and glare. Um, is this central shard? I guess it's just a big tree, huh? Now nah, we'll run. We'll run to the tree, it'll be fine. The tree is super important, I guess. Uh, oh, it's a different tree than what I thought it was. I thought it was going to be this tree. Of course, that's not. That's the guardian tree. That's my bad. That's fine. Let's find a mount that we can call a white mage mount. In fact, you know what? Here you go. It's the mount you get for actually being a, a white mage. Got conjured level thirty. You can get this. Pretty nice. Uh, but I guess Conjurer and Conjurer the White Mage is kind of ever so slightly different. Although White Mage has always kind of been about like purifying the uh, the environment and like, you know, helping the the spirits and helping the elementals, which was which was all great because there was a, quite a few uh, like the elementals was quite a large story component in 1.0. Uh, Maybe if you only start starting Gridania, the elementals were like super, super important, but they were still kind of important, you know? Oh, look at this big ass fucking tree. It's dead. Yo, you fucking guys kill this shit? Puff, puff. Oh, the Ixil, they. Puff. They stabbed a sword into, into the hedge tree, and the elements really didn't like that. Oh, but before we do it, they begin attacking the, by Trent. Trent. We, we must be some sort of revenge on Gridania. The Exil are trying to cause panic and chaos. Uh, Gaily wanted to try calming the spirits, so we led we led Mr. Smeshy what the fuck, breaches it here away. Zoom in the tree. Uh, and I only just managed to take it down. My own conjury was too weak to be of consequence. Self was forced to ex to expand too much of an aether to ensure the series' defeat. Don't worry about me. It's Gatti who needs help. The elementals were furious 
There's no way he, she can soothe their anger alone. I thought he was a little boy. Please hurry. All right, I'm hurrying. I'm hurrying. I'm going the wrong way. I'm fucking, I'm so confused that which way the tree is. You wouldn't think I was originally from Gridania, would you? <laughs> Here we go. We gotta run. Because she's gonna get eaten by the hedge tree. Oh, that's a lot of, that's a lot, lot of goop. Watch out, Gaddy. It's gonna do the dance of the doomed if you're not careful. What's up, Gaddy? What's going on? <sighs> Gasp. Shri, thank goodness. I pulled the sword out, but the elements lashed out. They won't listen to me. Please, you have to calm them. If another one of those trents goes after Sylph and Aquila. Huff, puff, uh. And they're all knackered. I, mean, I suppose they're only conjurers and students, but. That's right, look, I'm, I'm doing it. Getty, you look hurt. I want to heal you, but I have no ether left to cast spells. Akula, you'll have to do it. But me, but I, I cannot. You must. Can't you see she's in pain? Casts fire on him. <laughs> on her. I want to help, but my conjuring is so weak. I. I will try. No one, no one should suffer so. Healing. Oh, look, there's a sword. That's probably been in the cutscene from the very beginning. I just didn't notice it. And that is quite a floor texture. Just headbutts her. <laughs> Fucking horns. Thank you, Aquila. I feel so much better now. Your healing was like being wrapped in a soft, warm blanket. Is healing meant to feel warm? I kind of always assumed that healing would feel like kind of chilly. It's like a nice breeze, you know? Because it's like wind magic, right? I'm glad to hear that, Getty. To be honest, I didn't expect the spell to work at all, but it did. Nod. Got a stubborn bastard, isn't it? I did it. And thank you too, Strife. I never knew the ele elementals could get that mad. Phew. I have a long way to go before I'm as strong as you. Phew is the word for it. I think brother Isami owes, owes us a reward after all that hard work. Oh, still. Aquili, I don't think I've ever seen you laugh before. This day really has been full of surprises. Alright, we did the hedge tree. We got confused that which tree was in fact the hedge tree, but we did it. We calmed the element as well, and that's quite nice. It's thunder and lightning. Thank you. If you hadn't come along, I may have lost lost one of the first real friends I'd ever had. Nah, you had it. So what Strife does. He's always our hero when we need one. That's right. In fact, both of you were heroes today. Oh, it's all sunny now. I would say I was hardly heroic. I'm serious. We need to tell Brother Isami how incredible our conjury is now. How close your conjury is now. Again, I thank you. I thank you. Praise me as much as over much, but should certainly report this incident and let him know that you are safe and sound. Let's head back then. I think I'm ready for a cup of tea and a nice long nap. It'd be nice if they had levels. 
You know, like when you highlighted them, they had like a little level next to the name. So you could like kind of like gauge where they were. So if I may just find my place here after all. Listening to your tale earlier, I was convinced there was no one in my life I cared about that much. Or who cared about me. Then I saw how Gatti was hurt and I never felt my heart beat so wildly. Never felt such relief as I did when my spell healed her. I wonder, was this how the people in your adventures felt too? I'll continue my studies, and then should you need me, should any of you need me, I will be ready. Would you mind letting Rhea know, uh, know of my decision to stay on? I'm a little embarrassed to display all the sentiment in front of the seeds here. Sure. Back to Camp Tranquil. Uh, man, these stories, they're nice, they're nice little stories, right? They're like, they're nice little, little tiny ones. But, I don't know, man, like, the job quests aren't very good. Like, not that they're not good as in, like, the instances aren't good, the instances are fine. And, like, the little bits of lore that you get, uh, they're, they're fine. But the quest structure is the exact same. It's... It's so, like, I did the first one, and then the second two I've done, the tank, and the heal. The healer being probably the best one, uh, story related. But it, it, it's, they're just not interesting. They're just the exact same. Oh, look, her ears kind of poke through the, uh, kind of poke through the hood. Oh, look, but it kind of, like, rips open. No, it doesn't. It just clips through. Never mind. Uh, sorry, looking at your ears so closely. You returned with word of Aquella? Yeah, she's alright. I still don't know who she is though. Uh, I was of mind to investigate the disturbance myself, but it suddenly subsided. It was fortunate you were nearby. And I am heartened to hear heartened to hear that Aquella has at last awakened her talent for conjury. But it was her her potential not nor lack of learning which stemmed her progress. Uh, but a matter of confidence. Her shift in perspective was encouraged in no small part by you, your inspiring presence, I am certain. Uh, but not, not allow such praise to, de to debtor you from perfecting your own art. The mastery of white magics is a road which never truly ends. I expect to hear even greater things from you next time we meet. Yeah, see you, see you in an expansion, girl. Seeing white. Well, this is what I mean. Like, they're nice little stories, but they don't really amount to much overall, right? It's kind of just like a check-in to remind you that they, that they still exist. Like, I kind of wish your weapon, you got your weapon from doing that story, that part of the story. Like, maybe you didn't get your weapon from the, what you call it, guy in the cups. You know, and... I kind of wish that maybe there was like a cool fucking story, like a few quests for each class that led you to a weapon. You know, like that would be fucking cool. Uh, this, it can, they can all be level 80, like I'm not too worried. But these, I don't know, these job quests so far, they've just not really measured up. And I much prefer the job quests of uh, ARR, Heaven's Warden Stormblood to the job quest system of this thing where there's a job quest to each role and then there's a you know there's a role quest should i say uh for each role and then a single job quest i'm not against there being less job quests you know but there should be two or three or one really long one that leads you to a reward that leads you to something uh interesting rather than uh just this little this little cute check-in you know, I'm not against having this, uh, but I kind of wish it gave you something. Even if it gave you, like, uh, like maybe I'm not the best person to recommend this since I've not done any of this. I've not used them at all. Um, but, like, what if doing this unlocked the people? You know, like, what if we unlocked Aquia as a white mage? Or a conjurer, you know? We unlocked Aquia as a conjurer for doing that questline, and we got a trust out of it. And what if, 
you know, doing the samurai thing, um, we got her name escapes me at the moment. Uh, but the samurai lady, what if we got her as like um, as a trust, and you know that would be at least some form of like reward that kind of makes the check in interesting and worthwhile. You know what I mean? Like, don't get me wrong, it's it's nice and cute, but that kind of seems to be all that these quest lines uh, amount to. You know what I mean? Uh, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts on the White Mage story quest uh, or on just job quests in general in the comments down below. Um, let me know what quest line Aquia is from. I might actually go check the... Uh, the ending tales book now to see if i can find her because i literally have no memory of her so i'm gonna go check that uh but thank you so much for watching